Hey guys, I'm Janet, on occasion, and today we are carrying on with our Chaos campaign. Uh, who the hell is this guy? I don't remember this guy. Um, let's, uh, let's kill him. Yeah, I'll do the job. Yeah, get out of here, Kaj. Or Kaj. Or... No, the, I think there's the two pronunciations. I don't know, get out of here. He's dead now, it doesn't matter. We can't ask him. We can't ask him how to pronounce it. Kind of feel rude. Uh, in same ca Yeah, let's enslave him. Very well, I move. Good, good. Um, so good. Out of the eternal flame for Kolag. Good lad. He's earned it. Uh, also, that's actually sort of awesome. Now to think about it. Because if I give him the banner, that's going to be a nice bonus to his uh, weapon strength. Which is gigantic once we get him upgraded. So, yeah. Further percentages to, like, gigantic amounts of damage. Uh, that sounds good to me. That's, uh, that's spot on. I love it. So, Archeon's over here. Hordred's chilling out, Colex chilling out. So yeah, let's get him some level ups. And then I think we're going to end the turn. And see what the enemies got for us. There's a lot of enemies. So presumably, they have a lot for us. Makes sense, right? It's a numbers game. Uh, it's not your level up, is it? No, it's not. It's Mentash. Oh, Mentash. Buddy. Have a deadly onslaught. And I'm saving up for the Manticore. I say saving up. I Like, I'm... I'm waiting for the Manticore. I'm not going to get the other steeds. I'm waiting for the Manticore. Saving up. It's not like we've got to afford it. Although, I don't want to get it fully upgraded as well. You know, I want it to be armoured and poisony. So, you know. Poisony? Poisoned, I think. No, because that implies that... That it is afflicted by poison. Huh. Alright, well, whatever. Woundmaker. Brilliant. And that'll do. Ah, now this is brilliant. Look at this. A load of corn, slanash, zinch, and nurgle aspirants. As well as a couple of whalers. Uh, whalers are a really good unit in the Norskan roster for um, Radius mod. Really, really good. They're javelins, but let's see if we can have a look at them. Here we go. So as you can see, they are javelin infantry, but they have huge weapon strength with armor piercing and huge missile strength with armor piercing. Anti-large on everything. And frankly, not bad stats. You know, not bad combat stats. But that missile strength is just disgusting. And with the anti large and armor piercing, they are so good for taking down big targets. They're just like the best unit in the game for taking down big armor targets. It's wonderful. Gotta be close, though. Gotta be close, but. God, they pack a punch. So, Kolek Sun Eater, you got yourself a level up. Just by sitting around, we're gonna get Lord of the Storm because. Frankly, what's the point of having Kolek if you can't summon lightning to smite his foes? It just seems a bit of a waste. And also get stand or die. Brilliant. And then we can start upgrading him. Oh, can't wait. Uh, so now what I think I might do is start getting him some dragon ogres. Though they do take a long time, don't they? Um, we need to keep upgrading our warbands. Um, well, our, you know, our main settlement building. So we can get ourselves the Dragon Ogre Gathering. Because we are quite, quite a way off. It's going to take... You know what, I think we... Mm, no, we can't. We actually, we do. We need this. I was thinking, you know what, we could just save up. But no, we need to be on a higher tier. We need to be on tier 4 before we can even attempt to do it. So we actually need uh, 6. We need 12. So it's going to take 12 turns. Well. Okay, but then it's uh, the extra 5. So carry the 5, 6, uh, uh, 8 turns. I'm really just guessing with that. Is that eight turns? Nine turns, maybe? Is that nine turns? I think it's nine turns. I don't know, I can't maths. Uh, so, Archeon. Buddy. Go, go burn down the Tower of Crack. Good lad. Save me from my maths. I mean, I want you to attack him. You don't have to ravage them. I mean, I know it's Valentine's Day. Uh, it's actually Valentine's Day as I'm recording this, by the way. I'm not just being strange. Um, it's not Valentine's Day for you guys, but it is for me, and I'm having a lovely romantic time playing uh, Warhammer, because I'm in lockdown currently, so I can't see the missus. It's a real hassle. So, uh, very romantic. Very romantic, this. Just me and Archeon. And a bunch of dwarfs. Sexy. So, we do have reinforcements coming in from behind, and the other side, but I'm not going to squish them against a wall, because I... I don't want to cheese. I don't want to cheese. I mentioned this in episode one. You know, I want to limit the amount of cheesing. If we get to a point where it's literally cheese or we lose the battle, 
then I probably will cheese. Just because, you know, I, I don't have to lose a bunch of armies uh, that we could otherwise not lose. And then have to build them up again and it just slow the campaign down. But we'll see. We'll see. Sometimes, sometimes I will just throw away um, units. Whoops, I did not mean to move you. I, I was wondering why I still had some hounds over here. Alright. But yeah, I don't want to, uh, I don't want to make the campaign last longer than it needs to. Just because, you know, I had a single... You know, a single army caught out or something. That would be a bit frustrating, I think. Though, it could be more dramatic. So it really is going to be on a case-by-case -case basis. And it looks like... It looks like they want me to kill them all. Which is sweet of them. Though, uh... Archeon wasn't moving fast enough, so... You know what? I'm not sure it's going to work out, is it? Maybe it will, maybe it won't. Let's go ahead and do that. So, I don't know what other reinforcements are coming. Okay, good stuff. It's going away from me. Always, always goes away from me. Okay, let's get that out now. Brilliant. I overcasted it for the extra armor piercing. So, that's doing rather nicely. And here he is. Here's our boy. Alright, come here, Thorgard Kromsen, if that's your real name. And I'll make him miscast if he ever cast any spells. Because, you know, wizards, not wizards, dwarf, dwarf wizards, very common. They're not common, guys, I lied. I lied to impress you. Okay. Go on, Archeon, kill all the people. Okay. Yeah, this seems to be going quite well. Yeah, this seems to be going quite well. Basically, the whole army's shattered. Okay, you know what? You guys can turn around and get ready to receive the next, the next army. Okay. Marauder horsemen and doggos can chase things down. It's all good. Good stuff. And uh, I'll keep my cavalry dealing with these boys. Good stuff. Yep, that should finish them off. Now, let's tell them to do this again, because they have got a little bit confused, bless them. You know, there's a lot of dwarfs for them to trip over. There's nothing more distracting than tripping over a dwarf. You know, it happens. It happens. Okay, good. And once again, for good measure, just keep ordering them. But yeah, this is going well. Thorgard is just not having a good day. He's not having a good day in general. Alright. Yeah, it looks like the other two armies are starting to reform. I really like that they are actually moving together in order to form another army. Because usually they just form around this army, right? Around the actual starting army, but they haven't done that. They haven't done that, which I think is incredibly interesting. Uh, that's some really good AI. The fact they've gone, okay, that army's destroyed, let's reform ranks. Um, I really like that. I really like that. That's a good sign. Excellent, so he's dead. And yeah, those quarrelers are, far, are not far behind. Okay, you guys can start charging out. And yeah, that looks like a juicy... A juicy pocket of foes. Oh, I wonder. Good. Notice they're all standing there. Perfect. So, 178 kills at the moment, and... Wow, that shot up quite quickly. Yep, 316. Yeah, that went pretty well. You know, it'll, it'll do. <laughs> It'll do. Okay. Guys run around. Sad that that just carried on going this way, though. Uh. <laughs> do I want to do this? I mean, I do want to do it. Should I? No, of course not. Okay, come on. Alright. Good. Oh, 
Au! Uh, 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 uh. Nice. Nice. Just gave us a tickle. The enemy broke in time. That was a close one. That was a close one. That was a very close one. Also, one thing with uh, Radius, which I, uh, I like to point out here, um, because it's something that keeps catching me up when I'm trying to record cinematics, is a lot of the spells have a longer duration than they do in vanilla. But uh, the thing is, the duration of the spells is actually timed to coincide with the duration of the animation. And so, although it's just like, oh yeah, just make the skull wiggle across longer, that's just not how it works. Um, and so, yeah, it's sort of, um, the skull will disappear and then show up again as the animation starts. You can cut the animation short, but you can't stretch it. So, um, yeah, so it has to end and then you start a new one, which I think is really amusing. But that happens quite often. A lot of spells do that. You'll notice Flamestorm does the same. It'll disappear and then it'll shoot up again. So um, that's why. That's why. It's because it's lasting longer than the game is supposed to support. But anyway, that'll do. Decisive victory. Okay, that was wonderful. Uh, I didn't realise this. We only lost two men. And that was all Archaon. The dwarves didn't kill a single person. Archon accidentally killed two people. That's all we lost. Oh my word. Archeon killed 100% of the Chaos forces. 100% <laughs> of our casualties are Archeon's fault. Um, but he's ever chosen. He gets to do that. That is, in that is insane. That is unbelievable. And yeah, I'm going to raise to the ground. Oh, I should have awakened the tribe. I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. Why did I do that? Why would I do that? Oh no, I'm so dumb. I'm so derpy. Oh, Well, maybe I can attack it again. Luckily, though, we did just get the Crown of Domination um, objective ticked. So, what's next? Move move someone to Bear Something's camp. How did I know that was going to happen? What a surprise. All right, get over there, mate. A couple more turns. So once more, Archon's deeds have drawn the gaze of the gods of chaos, and once more he sends forth an emissary with a challenge to any who deem themselves worthy to confront him. And, uh, good. Extra 20% faction uh, research rate. That's really good. That is really good. Thanks to this possessed. There are souls that have been truly blessed by the gods. Not quite spawn, but have received many gifts nonetheless. The mm. Spooky. Okay, so, what do we want? Um, you. This lad, Hordred. Can. Build the lightning grounds. If he wants, so we can start unlocking Dragon Ogre Shaggoths. The uh, thing is, I will need that for Coleg, but I don't actually need that. Ah, good, it's actually let me do it now. Uh, I don't actually need it for uh, recruitment. Because I can just have Hordred recruit a bunch and just give Coleg a bunch of stuff. And then Coleg can get the cheaper upkeep once he gets around to building those units. So it will still be sitting around for a while, though, which is a bit annoying. But I guess we can double up. So, tell you what. Let's guess. Uh, let's get, get both of them into a camp stance. And Kolek, you're going to use global recruitment to get yourself three more Dragon Ogres. Good. And now, Hordred, you are going to get four more Dragon Ogres. And then you're going to build the lightning grounds. And so now that I've done that, it means in... Yeah, so four turns for them, two turns for them, and then once Hordred's got them, he can pass them on to Kolek, and then he will be able to get a few Shaggoths as well. The Shaggoths, I think, take three turns, I think. But in the meantime, I guess I could also... Possibly use Global Recruitment to get some Flesh Hounds of Corn as well. Because I think Flesh Hounds of Corn are a really good one to get for uh, for old Kolak here. So yes, he's going to have a ludicrous amount of Dragon Ogres. Like, just a silly amount. But that's fine. He's going to earn a lot by smashing things. So, I'm cool with it, frankly. I'm cool with it. If you keep smashing things, we keep earning money. It's, it's really all we need. Um, which is right now, nothing much is happening with them. Which is a bit of a shame. But, uh... You know, there are worse things, I suppose. So, yeah, what we might do, hopefully someone will try and take over the Tower of Crack again. Otherwise, we can just awaken the tribe of the Bay of Blades. But I can't believe I did that. That was really stupid. 
That was really dumb. I was, uh, I was taken aback by the nonsense. Oh, also, this is something someone's pointed out. This apparently will give me more growth. This apparently does does work. And if it doesn't, uh, so be it, because I'm never using it to recruit anything anyway. So my plan was just to have it there, because I might as well. But at this point, I, I'm going to have it there because it can actually help. Um, sorry, getting rid of it can actually help. but Because uh, I had no reason to demolish it. Or upgrade it, so I just left them. But no, apparently they do give you growth or something. Um, apparently. I don't know for certain, but again, they're sort of pointless to have, so I may as well give it a go, right? May as well. May as well. I trust my comment section. Alright, so. This is, um... Unfortunate for Ulrich. But he's dead now. So I'm gonna kill them all. Ah, Jesso the Kirken just beat someone in a battle. But he didn't raise it. Or don't. Oh, dude, come on. How are we gonna get glory for our Dark Masters if you don't put up a big statue of a bird or something? Okay, so. Um, did that speed things up at all? I don't think it did, but... Whatever, it's fine. Although, no, I think I know what it is. It makes the next building cheaper, because the more buildings you have, the more expensive it is to build one. Because, like, the more buildings you have, the population cost goes up per building, eh? So that's what it is. So it does make the next one cheaper, but it doesn't, it doesn't give you anything towards it. But yeah, it's cheaper in terms of population surplus. So yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. It's not something I'd bother to think about. Because it's just like, yeah, whatever, that building can stay. But actually, yeah, worth getting rid of, I suppose. Uh, anyway, what should we go with here? I would like to spread corruption, but I guess I do need to get to arcane conduit. So um, I suppose we'll continue doing that. Let's get earthing, because I'm no doubt going to end up overcasting pit of shades or uh, penumbral, uh, penumbral pendulum at some point. And withering might be fun as well, but we need to do on this line. Let's just... Uh, Alright, fine. Ockham's Mind Razor. Let's just get the choice of spells. We can start leveling them up later. Uh, beard Collector. Nice, more beards for my collection. I will sleep softly this night. It's a bit of a weird thing to do, Archeon. Bit of a weird thing to do. But uh, I'm not going to knock it. Because you'll knock something off of me. Now, what I want to do is have a look at global recruitment. Um, okay, so Shaggoths take the same number of turns. And, uh, yeah, they take two turns. Okay, that's brilliant. Once these are done, I'll get four Shaggoths. Brilliant. Do you think four Shaggoths is enough? Probably is, right? Yeah, then I'll fill up the rest with Hounds. Um, so, he, that's ten. Uh, okay, so we'll have two more slots left. We'll have two more slots in the army. So we'll have four hounds total. Um, so we'll have far more dragon ogres than we have hounds. But we will have enough to sort of chase things down and harry the back line and all the rest of it. So I'm, I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that. Um, this was the choice, wasn't it? It's going to be Mount of Blades, I think. I think it was going to be Mount of Blades, wasn't it? I mean, I could get, you know, Chaos Trolls and things, but... I'm not sure I'm that fussed about Chaos Trolls. None of them are new and fancy. Even though armor trolls are very cool. Yeah, let's uh, let's go with the Mound of Blades. I'll suppose upkeep down for everyone and puts up research rage, which is pretty damn cool. That is pretty good stuff. So let's do that. Although I actually want to move first. Can I... Can I awaken a tribe out of these ruins? No, I can't. Oh, that sucks. Alright, let's get over here. And... Oh, look! It's our favourite wanderer, and he has Marauder Berserkers with spears. That's right, new sort of berserker. But there's still a bunch of low armoured, barely any armour piercing nonsense, so um, Archaon can single-handedly kill all of these, uh, Wolfric included. So I don't think we really have to care, but... That's fine. That's fine. They'll serve us much better once they're actually serving us, I think. So, let's build that now. Um... So, Hordred and Kolek have just got to wait around, which is very depressing, just to have them sat there. I'd really like to get them busy doing things, but, um, soon. Soon, TM. Oh yeah, and Vashnel the Bike's going to move. So, that'll be more quests done. In fact, I think that ticks 
what two two quests three quests um, off the off the slate so that's nice all right so that'll do and uh, here we are star crusher be good if we get star crusher before we even get him in action that'd be amazing though also we do need him to actually have an army so maybe that's not so amazing Okay, will you? No, you won't. Oh my god, really? And I can't change his stance. Oh, I hate how this works. Like, it's so temperamental. So yeah, I have to wait two turns before I can even recruit more. That's so frustrating. Um, I'm trying to think. What I could do... i certainly try it. Is just recruit any old sod. Uh, you. Why the heck not? Nope. That's not going to work either. Never mind. I thought maybe if I recruited another lord I could pass on these units and I'd be able to recruit more. Uh, units with Hordred, but now I've got to wait. Ugh. So annoying. So, two more turns and then another two turns. So, yeah. Four more turns. Rubbish. Absolutely rubbish. So, let's go destroy Wolfric. That'll cheer me up. Oh, hang on. Stop there a sec. We need to read this, don't we? With a mighty crash of thunder and scintillating display of lightning, the, cha the uh, channels into the deepest... I'm reading this all wrong. A scintillating display of lightning that channels into the deepest of crevices. Kolek emerges from his lair onto the mountainside. The tribes prostrate themselves before the terrible master. And yet this display of utter abasement does nothing to quell the mighty Shagath's rage. Star Crusher, his gigantic arcane hammer, is missing. Vanished while the dragon ogre slept. A search must begin and the tribes must locate. Uh, must find the locations of the Star Crusher or all will be obliterated by their master's indescribable wrath. And here we have the battle straight away. It's got to wait four turns though. Grrr. So, the agent reports that Star Crusher now lies in the ruins of Totheim, taken there by agents of the Deceiver. The ancient city is being fought over by its winged undead residents and orcs, but Kolek is a greater threat by far. And when he comes uh, in... but... And when he comes in thunder to reclaim Star Crusher, flanked by hordes of fanatical Northmen, the thieves will come to know the true meaning of annihilation. So this I really quite enjoy, because the orcs and the undead fighting, uh, that's actually a reflection of another quest battle that happens in Todheim um, for Azag's um, and his crown of domination. Oh, crown of domination? Crown of sorcery. Sorry, I got my crowns confused. It happens. So, uh, yeah, kind of fun. So he's going to be gate crashing that the old star crusher gate crasher fantastic and yeah two more missions to do two more missions to do and yeah here we go Archon's deed draw the gates and now crown of domination so speak of getting crowns confused here's the other one so the earth groans before the might of Archeon, having gained the favor of all the chaos gods he stands on the brink of destiny the winds of magic howl from the uttermost. North, where the gates between worlds strain and then burst asunder, admittedly a single diabol sorry, admitting a single diabolical form, a demonic champion, a lord of change, comes to offer a final test to the man who would unite all of the forces of chaos into an unholy horde bent on subjugating the entire mortal world. So this uh, lord of change they're talking about is actually the demon prince Belacor that um, turned up to, uh, to to crown uh, Archeon. He was, he was known as the first demon prince. So, pretty cool. Anyway, so we'll be doing that at some point, but uh, I think I'll, I'll give it a miss, this episode. I want to make some forward progress and then we'll go back and do some more quest battles once Kolek's done. We'll do... We'll make an episode of it, you know? We'll make an episode of it. So, plenty of uh, trespassing going on, but that's only because someone decided to move in to Kazad Bordkarag while I was stood here, so I'm not sure you really call it press trespassing if I was here first, you know? But, um, if they get upset and decide to attack me, I'm cool with it. Honestly, I'm cool with it. But yeah, let's, uh, let's put him into the correct stance anyway, so we can get some bonus growth. Can't go wrong with bonus growth. Bonus growth is great. Uh, what are we going to get for him next? I've forgotten. Oh, that was it. We're going to go for Blasphemous Icon, Ruinous Altar, and then the Chaos War Shrine. So he would have cheaper infantry. And eventually upgrade all these Chaos Warriors to Chosen, I suppose. Uh, which is a shame. Rank 7 now. Looking very good. Looking very, very good. Okay, now let's kill Wolfric. Lightning Strike. No real reason. But um, this is just going to be such a doddle. 
I guess I'm going to fight it anyway, just to see if Archeon and uh, Wolfric can have a fun duel. I think it'd be, you know, exciting to see. So let's do it. Okay, so... Wolfric the Wanderer. Uh, I mean, I re really don't need these to be in any particular order, so I'll just lump them all together. Um, cavalry on one side, hounds on the other with the light cav, and... Um, Good. Uh, I'm actually going to throw out Archeon nice and quickly because he's going to end up getting pinned in place. Almost certainly. Almost certainly. And uh, there's no spellcasters, but take that. Yeah. So, we we pinned yet? It's going to be in range. He does have it, right? Oh, no, he doesn't. He doesn't have um, uh, Hunter Champions. He's too low level. So it doesn't even matter. So I'll just I'll just kill him. Come here, you. I'll just punch some people at him. Okay, good. Now let's buff ourselves. At ludicrous extent. Uh 171 melee defense is quite good. What am I doing? I don't need to overcast that. These guys have no armor. So yeah, 174 melee defense and 105 melee attack is is better than it's better than average, isn't it? A little bit, a little bit better than average. And I guess I'll overcast this just for the range. Although maybe I don't need to. Maybe I don't need to. You know what? Instead, <laughs> well, I do things by halves. You know. Hooray! Ah, uh, sort of going off in the wrong direction, but I mean, I, I guess it's... Oh, no. Mm, ooh. Yeah, it's better than going towards my guys, I was going to say, but now I have no idea where it's going. And uh, Archeon is actually just down to 115 melee defense now, which is a bit disappointing. But that's okay. He has been hit, but I don't think... I don't think he's necessarily been hit by Wolfric. So I do wonder. Um... I guess you attack them. I suppose you get the other cavalry in. Alright, make sure if he if he's got a higher chance to miscast. Because you know he's known for his spells, isn't he? Old Wolfric. Go on, mess him up. Mess him up. Stop getting distracted and setting fires, Wolfric. Not Wolfric. Archeon. I'm forgetting who's who. <gasps> Wolfric still has zero kills. Oh my word. Bless him. He tries. I'm sure he's trying really hard. It's just, it's just no use. Let's finish him off with a fireball. Oh, oh, little sod survived. All right, let's chase him down for a second. And come on, one. Now, <laughs> just kick, kick another lad at him, and. What? That apparently missed. The hell was that? Alright, fine. Screw it. He can survive. He'll serve me well. That's army losses, isn't it? Yes, it is. Well, that's alright then. Good stuff. End the battle. Decisive victory. Alright, so there we go. Uh, so Wolfbreak the Wanderer of the Vanna Heimlings. He's had such a poor career in this campaign, hasn't he? His faction gets absorbed into some minor faction, and then he gets just... just He just gets it handed to him, doesn't he? 26 kills total. Complete lack of regard for strategy. Just I just I just hit, grouped them all and hit go. And that was it. 500 kills for Archeon while he was dueling Wolfric. Disgusting. So, yeah, let's get the, uh, let's get the Sal. Hello. Hello there, tribesmen. And uh, we defeated Wolfric the Wanderer, which gives us 10% extra charge bonus. Lovely, we needed that. Yeah, we're on a 111. That's fantastic. So, love that. So, you've roundly marmalized. Uh, marmalized? Who? Uh, so, you've roundly marmalized the Eternal Challenger. He'll be back for a rematch, and soon. Of that, you can be certain. Well, alright then. I'll, just, I'll be able to charge him a lot better when he does, so, uh, thanks. Thanks, buddy. Um, Blade Shield? And Woundmaker. Yeah. 
It's a shame how little armor piercing Archeon has. Like, even with the Slayer of Kings, it doesn't add armor piercing damage. You know, as standard. It's very strange. Very strange indeed. Very bizarre. But, fine. You know, it's fine. Uh, so, Sarl encampment. We'll probably just try and um, bring the Sarl back, but we've done that already. In, uh, in the Bay of Blades. I probably should have done the Sarl encampment. It would have given them more, uh, more chance to build decent buildings. They'll probably get wiped out, honestly. They'll probably get wiped out. This happens. You know, it happens a lot. Uh, so, interestingly, Hellpit and uh, Fort Stragov. And, oh no! Okay, this is annoying. The Reichland are up here. So, the reason why I'm I'm upset by this is because all of these different ruins and everything up here, I'm happy for just various elect counts to move into them, because it honestly doesn't matter to me in the slightest if uh, if these guys do well. They aren't part of my objectives. I don't have to wipe out all of the Empire, I just need to wipe out the Reichland. Um, and so if the Reichland are moving into ruins up here, then it could be while I'm all the way down here trying to wipe out their faction, they've suddenly got a bunch of stuff up here that I'm going to have to <laughs> come back and deal with. So, um, yeah, we need to kick them out. We need to kick them out. That's for sure. Grr. Grr, grr, grr. Alright, here and up moved, that's fine. You stay there forever. Enjoy, this is where you live now. This is where you live. So this is interesting. We have some opposition up here, I think. Or soon will. I'm not sure they're attacking just yet, but they're certainly getting into position to attack us. So that'd be good practice for Kolek. And it looks like... Wait, did they all run off the... Really? Tower Crack just got taken by... The Reichland as well. Okay, we've got a bunch of, of Imperials to murder. Yeah, there's three different Lect accounts all up here dealing with us. Well, I'm not sure they actually Lect accounts are, but there's, you know, armies of three separate provinces. So, yeah, they're definitely taking the uh, the end times very seriously here, and our... Yeah, our allies are not. Burn it to the ground, guys. Just burn it to the ground. Oh, wonderful. That's very nice. The Chaos Gods grow impatient, lending a, sil a sliver of majesty. They enable their followers to march faster. Extra 10% campaign movement range for all of our armies, and 5% extra replenishment, which is really good. Uh, recruit the following type of unit. War Beast. What counts as a War Beast? Is that like hounds? Do they count? The creatures of the Chaos Waste are blessings from the Dark Gods. We should use their mortal children to bring ruin to the enemy. Cool. Uh, is a is a dragon ogre a war beast? I don't know. I wish I did. I wish I did know. Um, I am quite tempted to get an arcane vortex for him, but uh, no, we'll wait. We'll wait another turn and get the unholy legion, and then, yeah, then four more turns later, we can get the dragon ogre gathering, which will lower upkeep for all the huge army that he should hopefully have by then. Hopefully. Um, I think we need to wipe out all these guys, you know. Some of them are injured. But look at this, veteran swordsmen. It's happening, guys. It's happening. So, veteran swordsmen are, um, well, they're like swordsmen, but they're veterans. They're better. They have a little bit more armor at 60, so the radius mod extra content is starting to increase the quality of the units. And so, it is going to get harder to just burn them all alive. Um, so Archeon now, I think, needs to go back to the Tower of Crack. You know what? I'll leave it to these guys, okay? These guys can can wipe out the Reichland, and then I'll do something. I don't know. I need more armies. Yeah, let's go to the Sarl encampment. Because it looks like there's a bunch of friends here. Ah, Friends. Hey, friends. So, Sarl encampment. So, um... If I lightning strike, means this guy is not going to be able to join in, which I think is very funny, because I can just raise this to the ground and he'll be there going, Hang on, I was defending that. Were you? Were you Newt Ingerson? Were you defending it? Yeah, you were doing a terrible job of it, mate. Terrible job. <laughs> I'm not even going to bother fighting it. No need. It's like, oh, fine, fine, I'll leave. I, I, I didn't see it. Look, look, no, nothing to do with me. Nothing to do with me. So, Archeon, uh, I could give him a Ruby Ring of Ruin to give him a bound fireball, just in case he wasn't able to spit enough fire already. 
Um, let's see. Is it... Uh... Oh my god, I give him a potion of healing. Why haven't I done that yet? That's so much better. Uh, also give him an extra 25 wins of magic. That's pretty good too. Let's do that. Wonderful. And let's give him a level up. Because he's got some. He has levels. Uh, that can go upwardly. Um, this is good. Deadly onslaught. Make him hit harder. <laughs> Excuse me. I, I knew I was going to sneeze. Like, that whole time I was talking, I was like, there's a bloody sneeze here. There's a bloody sneeze coming. Sometimes sometimes I've been bothered for, like, it's, it's always when I'm recording. Because something in me says, you know, don't sneeze. Uh, so it's just this, like, it's like it waits. <laughs> or it tries to. Which you'd think would be good, but it, it's like torture. Because, like, I'm feeling like I'm going to sneeze right up until the loading screen or something. And then by then, I just don't sneeze. Like, I'm over it. It's just annoying. So, um, I'm glad I sneezed. I know. I know. What am I talking about? Sneezing. Predominantly. Uh, so, this is a lot of people to fight. This is going to be a very long fight. <laughs> like, a very long fight. And so, what I'm going to do is actually make this a slightly short episode. I know, I know, guys. It's mean of me, but I'm sure you guys have had uh, plenty of episodes so far that have been slightly over the 45-minute mark. Uh, in fact, I'm, I'm pretty certain that you have. So, um, yeah, this is a shorter episode, but it means we can start the next episode with a massive fight, including uh, fighting these veteran swordsmen, although they are all injured right now. They're not at their best. They have just been fighting Skaven. But uh, soldiers who fought in many battles hardened by blood of their enemies. Uh, these units are excellent infantry. So this is just a, a taste of how, like, Radius just sort of fleshes out things. So just these, like, incremental upgrades um, that sort of... Because I find the base game, I assume that just your normal everyday unit of swordsmen has a bunch of veterans within it and a bunch of completely fresh faces within it. But Radius does a good job of just sort of splitting that all out so you end up with like a very diverse group of units all over the place. You can tell which regiments have, you know, uh, have gone through, um, you know, many tests. Even though they don't actually upgrade from swordsmen, you know. It's it's more of a storytelling thing in my mind than, um, than actually having like a cause and effect, you know what I mean? Um, but I just, I like it. I like it a lot that there are these additional units. I think it's really fun. It just adds to a lot of storytelling, you know. Now I, I've, now in my mind, Dirk Frolichman, you know, this army has been through a lot. They've been through a lot more. It's why they're smaller units, they've been injured, you know. But these are battle-hardened troops in his army. So, you know, it just, I, I get that impression now, and I wouldn't have got that impression otherwise. I would have just been like, lol, he's injured, idiot. <laughs> and that would have been about it. But, uh, no, I can see he's been through, been through the wars. It's all good. So anyway, uh, so I'm going to end here, guys. So if you enjoyed this, please do comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Have a good day, guys.